Hi, we're Team Pajama. I'm Pedro. I'm Ashton. I'm Jonathan. I'm Vivi. I'm Mia. I'm Andrew. Over the course of the semester, in Entry GR 170, we created the binless waste sorting system for grades K through 5. Angela Espy, the principal from Shorewood Hills Elementary, reached out to us to help the school upgrade their current waste sorting system. It needed to be educational, reduce cross-contamination, and be easy for staff to manage. The cost of the system should be within $300 in order to be scalable to other schools within the school district. Starting out, we created three designs that we felt fulfilled the client's needs. The Union South sketch is inspired by the sorting system in Union South, which includes a diorama to show where waste, recycling, and composting goes. The binless design is similar to the Union South design, but lowers the cost by removing the bins and using a ring structure to secure the bags in place. The final design is the slim bin design, inspired by the slim bin's trash bins, which will take much less space than the previous two designs. Ultimately, we ended up choosing the binless design because we felt that it would fulfill the client's needs the best. After figuring out the rough dimensions of the design, we quickly got to work on the cat for the design. Here, you can see how the ring system would work, as each section would have four L-shaped PLA ring holders. These holders will hold up the bottom ring, which allow the trash bags to be secured in place around four tabs. The bottom ring also includes four magnets, which will also secure the top ring in place. This design also features a lid with a concave front to make it easier for students to reach the correct slot. There is also a flat surface behind the slots to put information on the proper ways to recycle and compost. A unique feature of the lid is that the design uses finger joints in order to reduce the number of brackets, thereby lowering the cost. After the CAD was finalized, the team got to work cutting the materials to size, laser engraving the rings, and cutting the lid using the CNC machine. To ensure the safety of students and staff, we all sanded the wood pieces in order to reduce the risk of splinters. We later painted the base and lid to clearly color code the recycling, waste, and compost slots and make it easy for students to understand how to sort their waste. We also coated the interior with a water-resistant clear coat to protect against any bag rips or spills. After assembling the lid and base together, our design was complete. When I approach the waste management system, I can easily identify which one is for recycling, which is blue, trash, which is gray, and compost, which is green. Okay. Oh my gosh, looks like the bin's full. I can easily handle this by just opening up the lid, like so, lifting up the top piece of the ring, and carefully removing the bag, like so. Oh my gosh, it looks like one of the bags ripped. Good thing the open bag of our structure makes it perfect to clean up any spills. Let me just reach in here and grab what fell out of the bag. Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to our professor Tracy Puccinelli, our TA Stefan, our essays Shreya and Angela, our Fab Fellow Yash, the Makeup Space staff, and our client Angela Spee.